Hi and welcome back to another Techwinds video. Have you ever been listening to the lower parts of the HF handbands and heard those strange kind of squealing sounds and seen all those wavy lines on the waterfall on your SDR software? Well, back in July 2017, two ham radio operators, K1JT and K9AN, developed a new digital mode called FT8, which is abbreviated for Frank Taylor 8 FSK modulation. Now, FT8 is designed for situations like multi-hop ease, where signal signals may be weak and fading or maybe the openings may be short and you just want a fast completion of a reliable and confirmed QSO. Well that appears what the original intention of FTA was for, however if you take a look on the lower HF handband spectrum you will almost see FTA being widely used every day. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go ahead and do your own research on FTA. So on the screen we have SDR Uno which is connected to my SDR Play RSP1A receiver and on the bottom left corner we have an application called WSJT-X or 10. Now the audio output from SDR Uno is being pumped directly into WSJT using VB audio cable, which is an easy way of sharing audio between applications. In WSJT under file then settings, we just need to select the VB audio cable. We can then go ahead and select the mode, which would be FT8. If you haven't already, go ahead and press the monitor button and after a few seconds, you'll start to see QSOs appearing in the band activity window. Now the band activity window is decoding all of the activities shown in the waterfall above. If you wanted to just monitor one station, you could click on that station in the band activity window and then on the right, the RX frequency window, just the transmissions taking place on that frequency would be shown. The frequency displayed on WSJT is referring to the audio frequency relative to the bandwidth you're receiving on your SDR software. So if you find that you're not decoding many stations, take a look at the bandwidth setting on your SDR software and try to ensure the outer edges of that bandwidth cover all of the activity that you can see on the SDR waterfall. Now FT8 is actually quite a good mode and when you're using WSJT as the software package it becomes a really useful solution for having some QSOs in mediocre HF conditions. However, you can probably see the messages that are sent are very very short. There's just literally enough room for the sending call sign, the receiving call sign and maybe one other word which could be 73s, it could be your signal report, uh, your locator. Uh, so it's not like RITI and PSK where you can do full sentences and actually have a proper conversation with somebody. If you want to try out, like I said, those kind of modes, then look at and do some research on RITI and PSK. Now WSJT can also be linked up to a transceiver. So if you have a ham radio license and you have a HF transmitter, WSJT X can be connected and you can actually then send a transmission. If you look on the bottom right hand corner of the WSJT window, you'll see some predefined responses. The call sign of the person that you want to talk to will automatically be filled out along with a little message, which is pretty handy. And you can just go ahead and click the TX button next to that message. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.